Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to the channel guys and uh, as you have probably guessed this is going to be uh, your weekly tarot reading for August 12th to August 18th 2019 as the title says of course but give me just a couple of seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are gonna jump uh, right into it. Alright so um Right, I think that this is enough and uh, let's see. So the first card topic of your week, that is to be the magician and we are off to a, a fantastic start here, followed by the challenges, which are the lover's card. So this isn't much of a, a challenge. The thing is, uh, just from these two cards is that you are gonna have two equally awesome options in front of you, all right? And you have to choose only one of them. And that will be the whole challenge to make up your mind which of these beautiful uh, beautiful paths you are to take and which one you are to abandon, all right? It could be in between two people. So let's say that you are um, dating with two people and every in each one of them it, it, it is in an awesome unique in their own way and you don't want to lose neither of them but you are gonna have to choose one of them eventually and guess what that is the week that you will have to choose the next card it is the positive aspect and that is the start so I can't even begin to tell you how important this week is going to be with these three cards right because this week my friends it is the new chapter that you have hoped for, all right? The new chapter, it is just your hope here, finally it is taking shape, all right? And the last one that we do have is going to be the tower, four out of four major arcanas. Oh my God, it's, uh, that, that's kind of like a, a stunning, to be honest. It's uh, it's very big thing, okay? It's, it's just, my God. Uh, well, I would say that whatever you do throughout the week, imagine it like this way, like this way, that you throw a, a, a stone in a body of water, all right? And the waves that you do are going to be with the tsunami proportions, okay? So it's very important for us this week that you are through to yourself, all right? Do not make your choice based on a uh, just a temporary circumstance just because for example you feel pity or because you are feeling um, oppressed by the situation or anything like that because whatever you choose this is what you're glued to all right this is what you are going to stick with i don't know how long but it's going to be very long right so you decide for the one person in favor of the another that's it you are with that person right you choose one job over another that's it this is your job okay you decide to divorce for example because this is what you want don't get me wrong you know you're gonna get what you want the thing is that there are gonna be two things you want that are gonna be presented to you throughout this week and you can choose only one of it not the other so you will have to decide. It, it looks like a sacrifice, but it is a, it is a better than a loss because now this is something I, I, I read, all right? There are 
two ways of how one can uh, change, can make their life change, right? Life changes either through a loss or either through a sacrifice, okay? So loss is when a choice is made for you, okay? So you have the situation, you are postponing, postponing the choice and eventually the universe makes it for you, which we do have the card, the tower card here and this is exactly what the message is, all right? Or the life changes through sacrifice it is a that you make the choice for one thing over another. So that being said, um, let's um, let's scrutinize the reading. But before that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the magician followed by the lovers, which is the challenges. We do have the topic here. Afterwards, we do have the star card, which is the um, positive aspect. And the last one, it is the tower, that is the guidance. All right, guys, so the magician as a topic. Well, the magician as a topic, it's a pretty broad card. It could relate to everything, literally, all right? Because the, the magician is about skill, is about sovereignty, it's about determination. But above everything else, it is a, about a, a successful execution and indestructibility, which means that whatever you do, it's indestructible, okay? So you establish your relationship, for example, with someone. No one can destroy that relationship unless you want that to happen, okay? You start the job. No one can fire you from that job. It is because unless you don't decide to quit, you start a project. No one can destroy the project unless you decide to do so. That's why it's very important to be extremely true with yourself, with your intentions. They need to be as pure as possible. They need to be as, you know, as strategically as possible so you can live with them because this is what happens, right? You do something, you decide about something and you will have to live with it. Uh, the magician also calls you for a, a thorough examination in a sense of that should you be baffled of what you have to decide for, well, you need to make your research, all right? You need to take advantage of your exceptionally well-developed communicational skills, which are to be extremely amplified throughout this week, August 12th to August 18th. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Pentacles formation. It is the active enemies that we do have. So with the Nine of Pentacles, you are fully going to understand the seriousness of the uh, of the matter. You are to understand that this ain't no walk in the park, all right? And the whole thing is not going to be a walk in the park at all. It's no joke. And it's it, it will have a reflection to your um, midi... Um, not mediocre, but medium, medium to a far future. And for that reason, uh, I don't blame you that you are to be as thorough as possible when it comes to the decision that you will have to make throughout the week. And it is decision that we do have, which you are to struggle because either of the options is going to be as beautiful as possible, okay? In, in its own way. They're not going to be something that overlap one another, all right? So, for example, if, if you are wa wandering in between two people, People and you don't know which one to decide. One of them could be funny, you know, they, they could be exhilarating, they could be very handsome as well and all that, but they will, for example, lack consistency, they may lack... But my point here is that either of the options comes with the pros and cons and you can live with all of that, okay? You can live with either the pros and the cons. As a matter of fact, the, the, the pros are going to overshadow the cons in, in regards to this, uh, to this reading. But the thing is that you will find it very difficult to decide in favor of one over the other because you you will just you're going to be attracted to both of them all right with the lover's card the decision is always a um very difficult it, it is a, a the b word all right because uh, unfortunately once you decide which one of the parts you're going to take you forever close the door for the other okay apart from that uh, it's important here to stress you that uh, the more you show how much you struggle with the uh, with the decision or the actions that you will have to make, the more chaos you are going to wreak over uh, the over the situation. So it is best that you do not show that you struggle, or rather, like do you do not transfer your struggle on the uh, on the situation itself. The accompanied card is going to be the Three of Cups. The formation it is a. Uh, 
active uh, neutrals and it's kind of normal that you are gonna try to search for advice from friends family co-workers you name it even if it is a, even if it's a, it's very normal that you may uh, decide to have a, a, a trail all right so like you try one of the things you, you see how it works out and you try the other option and you see as well how it works out so that you you hope that this is going to make you even more uh, kind of like more decisive in which direction you should go but it's not it's just it, it's just occupying you with time it's just postponing the inevitable and postponing the inevitable it is the thing that you don't want in, in this week because we're gonna go to the tower card and I will explain you what that means but the thing is that this week it is the mandatory week where you will have to finally make up your mind about the thing and the next card it is the positive aspect that is the star card needless to say that this is the card of hope this is the card pointing that well, no matter what you decide all right uh this uh road that you are going to start embarking on it has a longevity it has a um a, how can i place it a, a long time unfolding goal therefore whenever you decide to embark or whatever you decide to embark before you do so you will need to have a plan okay you need to have a um, a concept for the far future additionally to that the star points to unfolding love unconditional support as well and uh, to be honest it is the card pointing that your dreams can become true should you have doubt in it beforehand right I'm saying they can they are yet far from being true but you are getting there right with the very first steps into that direction the accompanied card here it is the two of wands formation it is a active supporters and it doesn't get any better than that because with the two of wands here it's just a confirmation and a testimonial that that is your part either of those parts right so these parts are leading you into the same point because for for tarot uh, it's like one is destined to go from point A to point B into their life, all right? How you're going to get there, it doesn't matter for the cards. You may get the straight line, you may go to the zigzag type of line, it does not really matter. What I mean here is that for Taro, there is no such thing as meant to be with someone. You are meant to be, for example, married, you are meant to be happy, you are meant to be uh, lucrative. What you're going to work whom with where it does not matter for the cards okay so it does look like that you are destined to be something very very good right or that you are to be in a position that you are gonna think that you are on the top of the world and your journey to that point starts this week so you have to be very very decisive and the last one, it is the tower, which is the um, guidance, all right? And the tower point that this transformation is not going to be easy. As a matter of fact, the more you postpone, the more difficult it's going to become to a point where everything will be brought into ruin, all right? It's just going to go out of your hand and the universe is going to take the decision for you and it's going to be painful, all right? It's going to be difficult and unnecessary struggling. It is what you're going to face. On top of that, all right, instead that you are to be the one who is to dictate the rules of the transformation, the transformation is going to dictate its own rules. So you are going to be like on the backhand working for it should you postpone the decision or the actions that you need to take throughout the week. And it's unnecessary um, turmoil that you will have to go through, all right, if you are apprehensive of deciding which, which option to take here. The accompanied card, it is the Ten of Wands and it gets even difficult with that because we do have an, an active supporters and as an active supporters, it seems that not just only that you're going to work on the backhand, all right, um, and in disadvantage, but additionally to that, it's going to devour all of your existence. What I mean is that this transformation should you postpone and from sacrifice to make it a loss you know it will consume your day it will consume your life and that will be the only thing that you're gonna have to work over to stabilize for example you do have two jobs all right 
that you can take. Currently working, that is just for an example. And you will have to decide which one to go, but either of them looks say, are very good, so you are postponing as, as, uh, as long as possible just to see which of the uh, new employers are gonna offer you more, but suddenly you get fired, all right? And one of these jobs are already closed for negotiation, so you will have to go with the other, but the employer of the other knows how desperate you are, jobless, you know, without any funds and all these kind of stuff, yet they give you the job. All right. But now you, instead of you being the one who dictates the rules because you are an exceptional asset, your employers are going, is going to dictate the rules because they know that you are desperate. And believe me, they ain't going to go easy on you. OK, so it's all about how you're going to play your cards. Now your hand is full of trumps. But with every single day you postpone playing those trumps, those trumps lose their values. So you get what I'm saying, I hope. So yeah, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, August um, 12th to August 18th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.